My name is Jim Bond. Uh, I'm a kinetic sculptor, and um, I make uh, sculptures that move but also have uh, illusion in them. This piece behind me is um, making the invisible visible, and it's uh, based on the story of Rosalind Franklin, who uh, worked on DNA, and her data was taken by Watson and Crick, who famously uh, won the Nobel Prize, and she was never really properly credited for her work. And the story emerged a lot later, of the groundbreaking work that she'd done, particularly her uh, photograph, which um, she adapted the equipment to get this amazing photograph called Photograph 51. So both her portrait and the photograph are visible in the sculpture. So uh, the two lenses here uh, line up the centre of her eye and the back, which is here. And the idea is that this, her eye becomes the centre of the image in the lens. And the image is a, a representation of her photograph, photograph 51, which is the first image which clearly shows uh, a kind of cross with little bl black uh, blurry marks and these marks were the first indication that the idea of a double helix was, was the correct uh, structure. From most angles the sculpture is not visible, you can't tell what it is. And that was the whole point of the narrative of the piece is that she was invisible. And only gradually did she become much more prominent. And also there's a resemblance to the structure she was trying to photograph, which were also impossible to see. And she managed to make them visible through her uh, techniques that she developed. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One section of the eye is here. And the pupil of the eye is here. Twenty two, twenty three layers. The furthest forward uh, section of the portrait is the this little bit of mesh, which is the top lip. And then if you keep going back through the sculpture, there's very elongated pieces of wire which uh, describe the, the side of the face. And the idea is that you can't see the sculpture and nothing is really visible of the face. So that's why some of these wires are distorted, um, just to confuse the eye really and to make the portrait invisible.